Good morning. Let's go on vacation. <laughs> So, as promised two videos ago in my what do I eat in a week video, I was dieting for this trip and almost a month later, this is the morning of leaving. From the first day that I started to just now I weighed myself, I lost seven and a half pounds, I think. So anyways, this is the update. Now I'm gonna go eat whatever I want. I didn't look up what the hotel looked like again. So this is actually like my first reaction. I did not remember that there was like a kitchenette. Here's a better room tour. There's two stove tops, small sink, coffee machine, blender, microwave. There's a fridge. There's a cute countertop with these stools. And then here, I have like this mirror. This is my outfit. It's very humid. Even though it's cloudy, it's really hot. And then I just changed into slip, uh, not slippers, sandals. The TV. This is the sort of balcony. We're on the first floor. And then this is the bed. And the bathroom with the closet. It has safe towels. And then the side for clothes to hang. Bathroom tour. Pretty nice bathroom. Rainfall shower, toilet, and the sink area. a sim card 10 gigs for 200 pesos which is like 14 bucks took a short break and now the most exciting thing we're off to have our favorite gelato place ever that we first tried in new york in Amarillo.
recommendation, roughly. Okay, so. Damn, it's not strong. <laughs> mm, that's good. I'll be honest, as someone who likes things that are pretty salty, I think this might be a little too far. <laughs> First night. We didn't really do that much. We just walked down fifth. I liked the like lively atmosphere. Anyways, it's midnight now, so. Day two in Playa. Getting breakfast. Then we're heading to Excret, which I'll probably put in a separate vlog. I'm really sweaty, but it's because the sunscreen. They taste pretty much the same, except yours is colder. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good. Ideally, I'd like it less sweet, but we didn't ask, so like. Chocolate pecan loaf. Mm. No, yeah. We were kind of in a rush leaving the hotel and we walked out of the door and saw that it was pouring and we had no time so we had to run in the pouring rain to our tour bus. Here we're passing by Explore, another park that we actually went to the next day and there's going to be a separate vlog for this. This Cenote Chichen Itza tour is organized by the Explore company, so we got all our tickets for this and Explore and Excret at the same time. <laughs> We passed by Tulum and then they gave us this boxed breakfast with a sandwich, a cornbread and some juice. First stop, I can't pronounce this, but this is the name of the cenote that we visited. Haha, <laughs> it's pouring. <laughs> it was still raining pretty hard, but we were already wearing water shoes, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. After getting changed, here we are walking down the steps to the cenote. The entrance area was really pretty and it was pretty exciting seeing the entrance of the cenote. It felt kind of mysterious.
up like stairs. I thought he meant stairs too. Here is me going into the cenote. I only took a really short dip as you can see because it felt kind of scary because you couldn't see in the water at all and that's just kind of freaky. <laughs> but I had to do it just so I could say that I've swam in a cenote before even for just three seconds. The tour only allotted one hour at the cenote, which honestly is enough, but it means you really could only spend maybe like 5-10 minutes here because changing in and out of your clothes takes a while. It is pouring, but we're wearing water shoes, so it's fine. <laughs> Walking up to the sacrifice people at the top there. This is the ancient ritual ball court. did today we left or our bus left at 7 a.m we drove about maybe like two and a half hours ish to a cenote we were only there for an hour we only did a quick dip and then we went to the main attraction which was chichen itza which is really cool i just think it's cool seeing structures or things that were made from so long ago because it's just kind of crazy thinking about how people existed back then and we can still see the same thing today and it's just crazy to think how they even built that so long ago. We had a really good, friendly, fun uh, tour guide with us. I believe his name is Luis, but yeah, he was really great. Now we're back at the hotel, just resting up a bit before we grab some dinner. I'll see you when you go. I changed into this just because I planned this fit out, so I gotta wear it. I just have this bandana tied around my head. This top from Shein. Shein also. 
and I'm just gonna wear sneakers. Back out to Fifth Ave. I mean, that's still... Yeah, we'll stop heading. raining just a little but since we have our poncho might as well use it okay. this is the new outfit after changing from being at explore all day which will probably be in a separate vlog last night in Playa del Carmen so I'm gonna do our souvenir shopping souvenirs hotel that concludes our final night here in Playa del Carmen I think it was fun very lively street very lively bar that we just went to 
so now time to rest. Good morning, last night, I mean, last day here in Playa. Last night, there was kind of like a storm. So the power went out, there was like a loud noise, which woke me up and then the power went out and then it came back. And then I think it went out again. And then this morning when I woke up, the Wi-Fi was not working, but then it came back, but the water isn't working. So yeah, but now we're gonna get breakfast, last meal here. I guess stuff this in the bag. Even in this weather, so before I end this vlog here, I hope you enjoyed seeing my time here in Playa del Carmen. But before I ended the video, I just want to give a quick review on the hotel that we stayed at. So the hotel. That we stayed at is called Meliora by Bunic. I would say it's about like a five minute walk from the main Fifth Avenue street. So starting with the pros, definitely the location is one of the biggest pros because it was very close every night after the parks that we go to or whatnot. We would be able to walk to Fifth Ave and just like chill there and there are a lot of restaurants and it's very tourist friendly in that area and it was also like five minutes from the walmart so anything that we needed it was very convenient to walk to and also because it wasn't on fifth ave or like super close to fifth ave it wasn't that loud another thing that was nice the room itself was like clean and nice and it was nice that it also had a kitchen and a microwave so if we had food we could like heat it up and another really good thing was the price and the value. So we paid, we stayed there for four nights and it cost us um, 515 Canadian dollars. So that is 128 per night in the room. And because there were two of us, like that's even less, like 60 something per person, which I mean, the room was like quite, quite spacious and it's like clean and everything. Those are the pros. Honestly, overall, I would highly recommend this hotel. The staff were friendly. There was always someone at the front desk. And yeah, like overall, I think it's really good. It's great value, but obviously there's some cons as well. Nothing that is a deal breaker. Like I would stay there again if I go, if I go back, but some things to mention that were cons. I think one of the big ones is that um, the walls are quite thin, so you can basically hear pretty loudly when people are talking in the hallway and even when people are talking on the street because our room was next to the street. Um, another thing that was kind of annoying is that the bathroom had no counter space, so it was just the sink. It was okay because the stuff that you would normally put on the sink, we just put inside the like 
cupboard that was under the sink so i guess it's like fine it's not a deal breaker or anything although would be nice if there was some counter space this is very much a nitpick more on my boyfriend's part because i didn't really care that much but the shower door doesn't stay closed like it kind of like opens a little so you had to put something outside to like keep it shut so like water and stuff won't, wouldn't go out and then another thing is the bathroom door wouldn't stay open like it kept just like closing by itself which i mean i don't really care but just a random thing and then this is just i guess we were like unlucky but there was a storm the last night that we slept there and it caused a power outage with in the middle of the night which obviously like that happens and when we woke up the wi-fi was down for a while but they brought it back so that's fine not that it really mattered because we were going to go out anyway the little more annoying thing was that the water stopped working so the toilet wouldn't flush and we couldn't use like no water would come out of the, the tap so lucky for us in a way we were already checking out that day so it didn't really affect us that much but i could see if we had to keep staying there that that would be an issue but again this isn't really like hotel specific because it could happen anywhere but that was just something to note but yeah that is my review of the hotel and my stay in Playa del Carmen if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe down below and one of my next Cancun related vlogs will be us going to excret so that's gonna be very exciting I hope you stay tuned for that as well and I'll see you in my next one